welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the aquarian sun moon and riding for the second week of june um the week begins from the 9th until the 15th um the second week of june we are going to be dealing with the energies of uh, the hangman so it's going to be an emotional week so let's see what is going to be transpiring because we have the energy of uh, we have the energy of emotions but we also have the zodiac energy of water so for you aquarians for you aquarians we have the energy of uh, a fire sign coming out there is um you moving forward from a situation then we have the energy of the ten of pentacles um family is going to be coming in to help you you have the seven of cups there's going to be a lot of help coming for you um then we have the energy of an organization you're going to overcome a situation wheel of fortune it's going to be um wonderful actually and the emperor okay so okay i hope you can see this the outcome is the prince of wands now let's talk about the prince of wands before we get in the reading some of you are dealing with someone between the ages of 25 and 45 whoever this person is um this person is trying to come at you but it's not going to happen this is someone that you have to look out for this could be um, some of you who are having a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius be aware of this person because whatever the situation is with this person is that this person is basically trying to hurt you and trying to reach you but you know they're going to be cut off it's as if um, whatever happened with this person you know it, it, this person can become also um, a stalker whatever is happening this person is really annoying some of you this person uh, pretends to be um, a nice person but it's not really okay it could be um, that this person is working against you in a way um, this person could be working against you so be aware because this is the focus and the energy of the week so for the people do, that are in or are not speaking the truth he could be not speaking the truth so um, be aware of this this is someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and this person might not be speaking the truth now on Monday you have the energy of uh, um, the fire energy this is movement okay so if you decide to do something on Monday um, if you are looking for a job and um, you receive information from an organization okay go ahead um, go for it okay some of you who are in relationship with this Aries Leo or Sagittarians you are in um, the sense that you're thinking <clears throat> you know is this a relationship um, can I trust this person who is this person what is this person doing why is this person here in my life what is the karmatic situation that is happening with this person and myself because obviously this person is not um, 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 telling me the truth so I you know you have to be aware movement a lot of movement is um, on the go a lot of people are um, moving towards an organization but yet still or towards a person and yet still thinking is that the right person as we look at Tuesday Tuesday is going to be a day that if you're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or um, uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius or obsolete you're going to be thinking about this person this situation that you're in on Tuesday is a karmatic situation it could be someone who you're working with uh, or it could be someone that you have to deal with in an organization it's a karmatic situation it's as if this person um, is trying to block you or hurt you but they can't they can't if you look at the energy of the moon um, the energy of the moon this moon is letting you know that you are spiritually protected if you look the energy of the moon is the, the yellow and the and the black is as if your spirit guides are protecting you and this person is really trying to reach you but they can't so this is good 
as we look at Wednesday, Wednesday is a positive day. It's a grounded day. It's a, it's a hurt day. Wednesday is a hurt day where you receive the energy of the hurt. The Ten of Pentacles is a wonderful energy um, to receive because what is happening is as if the Wheel of Fortune is as if uh, unforeseen money is going to be coming for you, money that you weren't expecting. And it's going to be coming from a work situation. Unforeseen money is going to be coming at you and it's going to be coming in from a work situation. Now we have the energy of the Seven of Cups. What is the energy of the Seven of Cups? What this is saying is that um, love is also going to be very much there. If you're looking for love, it's going to be there. Okay, the seven of cups is always that you have a lot of opportunities. And what this is saying with the ten of pentacles and the seven of cups is that whoever or whatever situation that was happening and people were working against you, they can no longer touch you. It's as if the universal angels and guides are protecting you from that. And as you look out and what you're seeing here is that the energy of the Ten of Pentacles is here and it is here in a positive. It's coming in very positive because it is letting you know for the people who are thinking about their financial situation that their financial situation is going to be good. Okay. Um, love is going to be coming at you guys. This could be a temporary love, maybe a week, maybe a, a month, but, um, it's not going to be, um, a love that is lasting. So, um, for the people who like one night stands and that sort of a thing, it's a positive uh, journey for you. As we look at the wheel of fortune, wheel of fortune comes up with the 10 of pentacles and this money is coming unexpected from a past, um, a past um, uh, job, a past job, a past, yeah, uh, unexpectedly, this money is coming in. And it's as if an organization, there is a situation that is happening, especially, you know, as we look at this, the Ten of Pentacles is coming from our old boss. And this situation is going to be balanced out and a lot of new doors and opportunities are going to be opening up for you. Okay. Now this week I decided to do the reading and this is so positive because I'm seeing so many um, messages that it's coming out. Um, for some of you in the weekend, it's going to be fabulous. Um, if you are looking for a new job, um, some of you could be winning the lottery in the, the weekend. Some of you could be receiving a promotion or hearing of a promotion or hearing of a new job or a job promotion that is coming in. Maybe an organization, you receive a letter that say, um, you know, um, you have applied to us a very long time ago and now a position open up and, um, you know, um, uh, you know, can you come in and make, um, uh, um, and let's, you know, um, come in and, and we'll see where we take, take it from. So, um, this is, this is really going to be good. Now in the middle of the week, some of you are going to be finding in a balance and you will. And whatever your financial situation was in the past, the wheel of fortune is going to bring you, some of you are going to be receiving unexpected money, but also unexpected news about money that is coming in. Monday is a good day. If you're going to about to start something, um, it's a good day. Um, Wednesday is a positive day. The weekend is going to be fabulous. Some of you who are married or you're father is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Um, some of you could be um, going to visit your father in the weekend. I'm seeing the situation of some of you going to visit your father in the weekend. Okay. Um, it's a week where um, you need to, um, especially the people who are in relationships um, with the fire sign, the people between the ages of 25 and 45, be aware of this person because this person is not really telling you everything. You know, they're giving you half of a story. You need to look for the other half of the story. Okay. Work situations are going to be good. Um, a lot of you are going to be receiving news about work in the weekend, and this is going to be fabulous. I'm loving your week because um, your week is full of positive energy. Monday is going to be a good day. Wednesday is going to be a good day. The for, um, Saturday and Sunday is going to be extremely good. You guys have so many, a major arcana. You have uh, so much a major arcana. Um, 
moon nine. Um, so you have absolutely no um, number of energy vibration because you have nine five. It's all different uh, scenario and situation. Okay, a windfall of abundance. Okay, and I was speaking, and now you can see. So, um, yes, um, ladies and gentlemen, there's a windfall of abundance that is about to come in your life. So, um, this is the angels of abundance, and they're letting you know that a windfall of abundance is about to come in your life in this week. So, um, abundance come in different form. It can be people coming to help you. It can be um, a good job coming in for you. It could be a job position that you have been waiting for in a very long time. That sort of a situation. But whatever is happening is that whatever is taking place is that an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Be open to receive and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose. Purpose, uh, um, health and uh, charitable work. So, um, if some of you are doing charitable work, this is a week where you are going to be receiving something back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for being back. I want to thank you for this wonderful, wonderful um, support. Um, and namaste. Please remember to listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And namaste until next time.